The shelter crisis is not slowing down and millions of dollars continue to be spent to keep the system afloat. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming got a look at the latest report from the Healy administration. According to the latest report, $427 million has been spent just this fiscal year to keep the emergency assistance program afloat. And to make that number even worse, that number is only reflective of costs through January. Costs continue to rise as people continue to enter the shelter system. There are currently 7,532 families in emergency shelter. That amount will continue to hover around that number after Governor Healy placed a cap on the amount of people the state could house. The latest report shows that 3,775 families have entered the shelter system as migrants, refugees, or asylum seekers, an increase of 30 families in two weeks. It's important to note these numbers are being reported as number of families, not individuals. So we don't know the exact number of people who are in the shelter system. Now, just last week, the House passed a $245 million supplemental budget bill to help fund the system for the rest of this fiscal year. This bill also limits stays to nine months, with the ability to stay an extra three months based on employment. Pregnant individuals, people with specific disabilities, veterans, and people at imminent risk of domestic violence would be able to stay for a year. Housing attorney Andrea Park said the root of the problem is cost of housing. I think before we had migrant families who were entering our shelter system in large numbers, there were at least 3,000 families already in that system and those numbers were consistent for several years and the, the times that they were in the system were quite long. So this is a housing problem. Now those who aren't in housing are currently placed on a waiting list. Most recent numbers show that list is now at 766 families. Now about 800 families in emergency housing are being sheltered in western Massachusetts. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.